What is going on, you guys? It's your boy Avery here, and welcome to a Splite deck profile. So bust out your Sprite while we play our Splite so that we can be all right. Ladies and gentlemen, we are bringing out Rhymes 24-7-365. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you are commenting how shitty my rhymes are <laughs> and how excited you are for Power of the Elements, Splite tier elements. I'm going to mill the shit out of my deck format. But anyway, all that being said, let's just go ahead and dive on into this deck profile. So this is something I've been experimenting with for a little bit. I'm not here to say it's perfect. I'm not here to say this is how you should play it because honestly, there are so many different ways to build Splite. Like you could run three copies of Deep Sea Diva. Uh, I've seen in the OCG where they're running like a nimble engine with like nimble beaver and shit like that. Um, really, it just goes to show how many different ways that you can build Splite. Similar to Branded, like you can throw Branded in a lot of different things. So be ready to know what this deck does because, I mean, it's it's going to be, at the very least, a Tier 1 deck. I don't know if it'll be Tier 0 when it gets here because we do have a different format from the OCG, but it is going to be a very good deck, and it will be Tier 1 at the very least, right out of the gate of power at the elements. So starting off, we are playing a Cyphering package with Triple Gamma and Driver. Um, I like to play things like Gamma when I'm first building a deck because there are some hand traps that are just always generically going to be good, right? You know, like Gamma being able to stop a monster effect and pop it is, I feel, always going to be good, at least for the foreseeable future in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! So whenever I'm building a deck, I like to start off with an engine like this and then kind of go from there. The same goes for Lancia, just because it really kills Flunder. It kills anything that wants to banish, really, Grimaju for the Rogue, uh, Flunder, as I mentioned before, things like that. Um, so we are playing that. And then we're playing the three copies of three Ash and two Ogre. Uh, and yes, this deck plays a shit ton of hand traps. And that's just simply because of the fact that it can. You know, you look at decks like Branded that sometimes play hand traps and sometimes don't. It all depends on the build. Um, some builds like to play a lot of hand traps. Uh, even Sword Soul sometimes plays a lot of hand traps depending on the build. And that's what this Splite build does is that it just plays a shit ton of hand traps to stop the opponent and then just pop off uh, when it's able to start making plays. Then we're playing three copies of Splite Jet. Uh, it can special summon itself if you control a level or rank two monster. And if it's special summoned this way, you add a Splite Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand. We're playing one copy of Red, which is the Monster Negator, I believe. Yes, it is a Monster Negator once per turn. Then we're playing three copies of Splite Blue, which is basically a Stratos for any Splite monster. And then Splite Carrot, which is a Spell or Trap Negator. And then we're playing a Frog Engine in the form of three Swap Frog, one Rodent Totem, and one Dupe Frog, as well as an Evil Twin Engine of three live twin kishikill and then two copies of the lilla uh the evil twin engine serves as an otk factor because if you go second and you open up part of your evil twin engine you can just otk with it and make you know the evil twin kishikill the evil twin lilla going to trouble sunny all that other fun stuff and just otk the opponent of course you play the frog engines that you're able to go into things like totally awesome because with splite elf it does become a double negate in one card which we will with be discussing in a moment for the spells we're playing one feather duster because it's just good generic back row removal one monster reborn because really all you need is that one monster to get you going you know you can reborn like a say a splite blue to search for a card uh reborn like a ghost ogre since you can send it from your hand or field or a lancia since you contribute it from your hand or field we're playing three copies of starter which as the name says it's a starter it special summons a splite from your deck and then you lose life points equal to its original attack but then for the rest of the turn after it resolves you can't special summon monsters except level rank or link two monsters and you can only activate one per turn that's fine because you're mostly just playing all level twos and the same for the extra deck you're playing you're playing rank twos link twos things like that call by the grave to stop hand traps forbidden droplet because it's good and then three copies of e-tally because you're playing ogre you're playing ash or excuse me uh that's not a psychic you're uh playing ogre gamma because it's a level two so you have that little interaction um something else to also note here is that your splites are all thunder monsters they're level two thunders so you can play things like recycling batteries which lets you add two thunder monsters from your grave for 1500 less attack back to your hand so keep in mind that like any cards that support thunder type monsters you could play in this deck which is why i said that there's so many different ways to build this and then for the extra deck we're playing two copies of Evil Twin Lilla, two copies of Evil Twin Kishi Kill, two copies of Splite Elf, because this card's broken AF, one copy of Lombada, one copy of Trouble Sunny, two Gigantic Splite, 
one Sky Calvary Centuria because it's a rank two monster. Two copies of Totally Awesome, one Downard, and one Zeus. You can go bigger on the Zeus package if you want. It's just the extra deck is already kind of tight, but you could swap out the Centuria for like a Downard or another Zeus, whatever it is that you want to do. Um, and the reason why I say that Totally Awesome is a double negate is because of the fact that with Splite Elf, it requires just two monsters, including a level rank or link two monster. It can't be used as a link material to turn that it's link summon, which is fine. Your opponent cannot target monsters. This card points to a card effects. And during the main phase, so either player's main phase, quick effect, you could target one level two monster in your grave. Or if your opponent controls a monster, you could target a rank or link two monster instead. Special summon it. You can only use this effect of Elf once per turn. So the main game plan with this deck is that you want to have Splite Elf and totally awesome on the field the opponent tries to activate a card or effect you use the toad and tribute itself to negate and destroy it you can set it to your field if you want and then the moment the opponent summons let's say alubar you can just activate the effect of splite elf to resurrect the totally awesome and now you have another negate because the opponent controlled a monster so now you can get back out your toad because remember toad is a soft once per turn it does not say you can only use this effect of totally awesome once per turn so it's a soft once per turn so if you've got three toads on the board you have three negates or if you can loop the same toad, then you can have multiple negates. So just ending on Splite Elf and Totally Awesome essentially gives you two negates plus anything else that you're able to back up with it, whether it's hand traps, uh, call by the grave, you know, things like that. Uh, let's go ahead and do some test hands here real quick just to kind of show you what I'm talking about. So this is actually a, a pretty decent hand going first. If you wanted to try and out a hand trap, you could activate Splite Starter. If the opponent tries to play Ash, then you could just chain Gamma because you don't have any monsters on your field. Uh, you also have the Splite Blue, but keep in mind that they only get their effects when they're special summoned, so you need to have a level or rank 2 monster on your field. So we can go ahead and activate Splite Starter. Um, whichever one we special summon, we're going to get a search anyway. For this example's case, I'm just going to say that we're going for red because I want the monster in the gate because I fear Nibiru. Uh, then we can special summon our Splite Blue, which then gives us the effect to search out either Carrot, which is a spell or trap negate, or Jet, which can search us another starter. I'm going to say that we're going for Carrot, um, and you do want to be careful where you play your monsters in the zones because of Splite Elf pointing bottom left and bottom right. Uh, for this example's case, let's just say I do blue and carrot to go into elf, and then I can use elf's effect to bring back out carrot, and I can either bring it to the zone that elf points to so that it can't be targeted uh, by card effects, or I could just summon it somewhere else, but for this example's case, I'm just going to bring it here. You can then set droplets face down, and if your opponent somehow clears your zone of monsters, you still have the gamma, assuming that you didn't use it. You could also slam together red and carrot into gigantic splite, and then detach, let's say, red to get yourself out uh, another level, uh, a, another monster from your deck. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just pop off here and do that. You could also use the elf for the XC summon. Keep that in mind with Gigantic Splite's effect. We're going to use the effect of detaching red. We're going to go for our swappy boy. Swap Frog is going to get its effect. And then we're going to be able to dump our Rodent Totem. And we still have not normal summon, keep in mind. So we can just bounce the Swap Frog to our hand. And then for our regular normal summon for the turn, we can just summon out Swap Frog again. Use Swap Frog's effect to dump. Eh, let's just dump Dupe Frog for funsies. We're going to activate our Rodent Totem, Banishing Dupe Frog, to bring out Rodent Totem defense. And now you know what that means. We can now bring out our Totally Awesome because he is so totally awesome. So now we have a Negate. And then because of Elf... We have a double negate, so the opponent is in theory playing with a four card hand. They activate a card or effect. We can use Toad's effect to attribute it to negate it. The moment they summon a monster, we use Elf to get back out the Toad, and now we have another negate. Plus, we got Droplets if we want to use that as well. So the deck just starts snowballing uh, all the advantage from this point. But ladies and gentlemen, that is Splite in a nutshell. I know I didn't really go too in-depth, but I just wanted to show you at the surface level what it is that Splite can do, because to be honest, I'm still learning this deck myself. It's nowhere near as confusing as Tier Elements like I talked about in my previous deck profile, which you should go check out if you haven't already. Um, but it is still a combo heavy deck that you need to know how the cards work. You need to know your lines of play because one mistake, especially in competitive play, can determine whether or not you're going to win that game. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.